Gulliver takes off his shorts and unleashes a golden stream towards the palace. The aroma is a bit eye-watering, but it saves the king's wrinkled old butt. That night, the king throws a celebration in honor of Gulliver, grabbing a platter of dragon fruit. Gulliver devours it in one gulp and starts boasting about being the father of Ultraman. The crowd stares in awe, their eyes filled with admiration. The next day, the king overwhelmed with adoration for Gulliver, sends 10,000 workers to construct a luxurious villa for him. Even brewing a cup of soy milk requires a team of people. In an instant, Instant, Gulliver ascends to the pinnacle of his life. To top it off, the king appoints him as a general, as the former general had sabotaged all the defense switches in the palace out of revenge. Little did they know, this spectacle caught the attention of enemies located 1,000 kilometers away. They quickly informed their king to prepare for battle. The sky is filled with dozens of bombs, raining down upon the palace in a fierce bombardment. Faced with hundreds of warships, Gulliver rips off his bargain bin red tee and kicks off his mammoth-sized size 400 canvas shoes. Step by ridiculously heroic 